What's up y'all, it's your boy Louis DeGo. Welcome back to another video man and welcome back to Judgment. If you guys remember the last time we were playing Judgment, we were um I believe we were investigating uh Humra and his alibi, seeing if we can prove that he was at the sauna that then turned into more evidence uh showing us from cameras and all this other sneaky stuff that was happening that Hummer didn't tell us uh, then we end up was talking to the chief prosecutor or something like that at the end of the the, uh, the video but now we're back here with Yagami himself y'all already know how he going to do it and you see the main story we gotta buy this freaking figurine for Sukumo here so um, that's a part of the main story apparently so, um, we're supposed to be heading to Genda to tell, uh, what's his name, uh, who have been hating on the Shintani about the prosecutors being on our, being on our tail. Um, we gotta buy. Let's see. I think this is what he want right here. Uh, hello? Yes. Bam. Thank you. Uh, this is one Sukuma wonder, but how I even knew concert well I better go make a handoff. So this is making me Yeah, I gotta go deliver this mess. Alright. Hold on, all these people in the way move. I brought you the goods. Is this the one right? Don't worry about me, y'all. I ain't crying. I just yawn. <clears throat> <laughs> yep, that's the one. Mini dinks. How much was it? Nah, it's on me. I'm paying you back for last time, remember? Really? Hey, that's pretty generous of you. No worries. Though, wouldn't it have been quicker to go with yourself? Uh... What can I say? I'm a busy guy. Plus, there's this pre-order is about to open up, so it's, so it's time to man these <sighs> battle stations. Ah, you always got a reason to stay cooped up, huh? You'll never change. Nah, I shouldn't say that. You improved a lot, actually. Oh, thanks to you, Yagamishi. I might never been, I might never have made human contact again if it weren't for you reaching yeah. out to me. Yeah. Speaking <laughs> of which, you finally set foot in your own house, only to end up hiding away in the net cafe. Heh. <laughs> well, the rent's cheap and the internet's vast. What more can you want in life? Besides, this is the perfect place for an informant to set up his base for operations. True. You always been a big help, that's for sure. Either way, I'm lucky to have you. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. Right back at ya. Alright. City rep. Once you made friends with someone, you become you get to receive items from them when you pay them a visit. If you don't get any out of trying back, come back later. I could be friends with the man at Popo. Oh, it's over with. You already know he is the number one guy we're making friends with. Probably won't ever do it though during the series. But you know what I'm saying? We're going to do it. So, you finally have some details from the cops. Murder specifics, forensic results, even their proof that Hammer is the one who did it. That's a lot. Let's see it. But first... Hmm? Just don't forget your role in all of this. Especially you, Yagami. At the end of the day, you're just a mercenary. The one who decides how this investigation goes is me. Understand? Okay. We it's your show. Man, we knew uh, this. Why don't we look at those documents, Shintani Sensei? Ooh. That's more like it. Wow. First up is the crime scene. Huh. Bro. Shintani, why? Right. Morning of December 4th. Mm -hmm. Police get a call about a body in the alleyway behind a moor. Mm -hmm. The officer who rushed to the scene confirmed the corpse on arrival. Alright, search quick mode. Alright. Anyway, what the? before I say anything, Shantani been on this man back since he left this dang office. Like, why are you still pressing? And then you're still coming back to me for help. Ain't you supposed to be the number one top guy? Like, like get off of my back, me, bro. Anyway. Victim was a Kansai thug. Bottom feeder with the Kyori clan. Toshiro Kume. Body had a few bruises. 
but the cause of death is pretty obvious. Two puncture wounds, straight through the eyes. The cops think the murderer used something like an ice pick, pierced right into his brain. My eyes hurt just thinking about it. Oh, you're telling me. Looks like the murder weapon went through Kume's eyes, and tore him out when the killer took it back. Only natural to think the Tojo was trying to make an example out of him. You know, threaten the cure. So even if Hamura didn't do it, it's damn likely that someone from the Tojo clan did. And if we can figure out who it was, Hamura will be off the hook. What? Find the real killer? That's a step too far. Priority number one is proving his alibi. We do that, we're in the clear. Uh-huh. All right, whatever, bro. This is how the prosecution thinks it all went down. Cutscenes of the cutscene. Oh. December third, just around nine o'clock, right out front of Club Amor. An argument breaks out between Captain Hamura of the Matsugane family and Kume and Murase of the Kyore clan. Hamura and his thugs drag Kume into the club. At which point, Murase abandons Kume and flees the scene. Hamura then locks Kume in a moor for around an hour, while he and his boys beat the daylights out of the guy. Around 10 p.m., Hamura kicks everyone out, leaving only himself and Kume in the club. Up to that point, their story matches the camera footage and the testimony we have from the owner of Amor. The prosecution's story continues as follows. Once the two of them were alone, Hamura tortured Kume even more violently. Then, between 2 and 3 a.m., he drove a sharp weapon into Kume's eye, killing him instantly. Once he finished gouging Kume's eyes out, Hamura dumped the body in the alley behind Amor. When questioned, Hamura said, Me and Kume left Amor around midnight. I went for a steam right after. But since no evidence can back up that claim, the prosecution doubts its credibility. 6 a.m. on the morning of the 4th, Kume's body was found. And one week later, they arrested Hamura. Hmm. I ain't gonna lie, that was a clean, like, little thingy to add right So there. they got three things. The camera footage, the blood stains in the club, and Hamura's Swiss cheese alibi. Any of those alone wouldn't be enough to get a conviction. But with all three... Prosecution thinks they've got this case in the bag. End of the day, to them, it's just Yakuza offing Yakuza. Guess there's not a whole lot of reason. Makes sense they'd see it that way. I'm more interested in what you think, though. Did Hamura actually kill Kume? I don't know. The guy rubs me the wrong way, yeah. But I'm pretty sure he's innocent. A kind of Yakuza like Hamura wouldn't just offload the corpse in an alley like that. Too sloppy. If he really did it, forget about the eyes. You'd never even find the body. Agreed. That's Arshin Tani Sensei. Prickliest guy in town. But if he's not a terrific lawyer. With you there. Um. Was that supposed to be a compliment? What? Something wrong? If Hamra didn't do it, the person who did is still out there somewhere. Huh? We've just got to find them if we want to clear Hamura's name. Ha! Huh. You think we've got the manpower for that? Tracking down a criminal like that takes an entire organized front. Best leaving that to the cops, if you ask me. My only job here is defending Hamra. Yeah. To them, the truth is... Then what's your next move? Ah, uh, gonna need some more info on the victim. Remember Kume's buddy? The one who ran off when the Matsugani boys jumped him. 
Name's Akira Murase, from the Kyore clan. I want to hear what he has to say. About what? About what he did after he watched Kume get dragged into the club. Did he really just abandon his friend? It's hard to believe. True. Watch well, at least have to rescue, but the find out for sure. Come on, me. man. Is this the time to go knocking on the Kyore clan's door? Sounds like suicide to me. I bet they're out for blood after what happened to Kume. One way or another, I want that info from Marase. Get it <laughs> yourself, top You're the man. Ones who have to figure out how to get it. That's a deal, remember? I'm a deal, my ass. Yeah. Poking a hornet's nest ain't gonna get us anything but stung. Well, He's right, though. Come on, Kaito-san. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Hey, I'm with Kaito on that one. Like, he didn't want to talk about he the top person. How about you do it yourself? First things first. We need to find out where the Kyore clan's hiding. They gotta have a base or something. Probably quickest to just go ask Matsugane-san. He's got all the real Tojo clan dirt. Oh, uh, I guess I'll pass. Can't exactly waltz in, being expelled and all. Yeah, I'll take care of this one by myself. I'll call you when I'm done. Alright. So now we head into the Matsugani family office. All right, oh, I found some people now. Oh, all right. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, whoa! Oh, oh. <laughs> Put him on that bumper. Oh. All right. They yeah, get kicked. Get kicked again. Get kicked. Get kicked again. Get kicked. <laughs> Come on, are oh, you drunk, huh? Oh, uh, so a buddy here, drunk. All right, hold on. I got something for you. All right. Uh, I, I, I. Oh! And stay down. Oh, that was a smooth kick. Look at buddy. Uh, look at him. Night, night. Uh, night, night. Here, right this way. Now this is dude. The Matsugane are an offshoot of the Tojo clan. Not the biggest Yakuza family on the block. They're a small branch that's low on the tree. Mm hmm But the family's patriarch, Mitsugu Matsugane, is like a father to me. And Kaito-san. Excuse me. Yagami-san's here to pay you a visit. Oh. So good to see you again, my boy. Now then, feels like ages since you last stopped by. That man, Matsugani. Uh, I'm not about to say what his first name is. I know. I wonder why that is, huh? Could it be that you're the only one who's glad to see me? Well, you have a point there. How's Kaito these days? Staying out of trouble? He's okay. If not for that incident, he'd still be part of the family, you know. Hard to believe it's already been a year. Uh, the both of you are more or less the sons I never had. The past is what it is. True. But I'm glad to hear he's doing well. Under your watch. I'm sure Kaito-san will always feel like my Aniki. If not for you, I would have taken another direction in life. I'd be a very different person, I think. You'd have turned out just fine, my boy. Excuse me. T. So then, what would drag you back to an office where you're not exactly welcome? Hamura is giving me some grief. Is he now? I was under the assumption Genda is handling the issue. Are you helping him out with the case now? Shintani's got me looking for the Kyori clan. I just need to find them, so I can ask him a few things. Not wise, my boy. You do know they're all up in arms right now. Sure you want this? Don't worry. I just want to have a word. No, not be wise, my boy. <laughs> Does the name the Kajihira group mean anything to you? No. no. Can't say that it does. They're a Kansai outfit. It's... they've got a front in the city, the KJ Art Office down on Senrio Avenue. 
Be careful, though. There's Kyori crawling on every floor. These are Tojo clan streets, but that's their turf now. Senryo Avenue. KJR, eh? I'll check it out. I know you're busy. Although, you think I could visit your office someday soon? Keep it on the down low. Yeah, of course. Hey, <laughs> keep it on the down low is funny. I'm already, I'm already rocking with pops already. But who is this? <laughs> Kaito-san, just left the Matsugane office. The Kyore are shacked up in some place called KJ Art. Huh, and that's where we'll find Morase? Not sure. We won't know if we don't check it out ourselves. You're thinking stakeout, huh? Sounds like the perfect time to give the drone a whirl. That might be our only choice. Fingers crossed. Anyway, I'll see you over there. Huh? Okay. Cool. So now we gotta move, man. First off, take that. Oh, wait, this is 2018. Never mind. Uh, no, I ain't. Y'all ain't even had no mask yet. It was 2020. Take that mask off. Anyway, uh, I'm probably thinking about something else though. But uh, we're gonna go to AJ Art real quick and see if this man Marase is shacked up up in here. You feel me? All right, y'all. So we got our disguise finally. Um, it was a lot that I had to cut out. Um, that was like boring, but. Finally got the disguise, and we're gonna try to break in in here to try to get to this man Marase. Head into in the Yakuza hot bit. First things first, gotta pass that receptionist. Alright, it's easy. You just walk up in here, smooth. Hello, ma'am. I heard you're having some heater trouble. I'm here to fix it. Yes, it seems to have stopped. Thank you for coming on such short notice. The main unit is just out the door to the left, right around the emergency stairwell. Uh, mind if I take a look at an indoor unit as well? These things can be pretty complicated. Is that really necessary, sir? It'll help me get a better idea of the whole system. I'd rather not bore you with the specifics. Very well, then. Sure. There's one in the security office to your left. Thank you very much. I'll have you guys heated up in no time. Bingo. All right. Can we just go straight to the security office right here? All right. Turn on the lights. They're right here. Hey. <laughs> Come on, bro. They ain't even the blueprints. Oh, we can move around. Oh. Okay. Blueprints. That looks like some blueprints. Let me go ahead and grab those up. Is that a map of everything? Yes. Okay, fine, huh? So I need the key to get the stairs on third floor. I won't be able to get rooms. Gotta find keys somehow. So there's a key somewhere that's in here. Um, where would a key be at in here? Let me see. Oh wait. Uh huh. Hold up. Let me. Yo, do you not see this? What the? Okay, what's this? What's this? You left the key out on the desk. You gotta keep it locked, security. No idea though. Gotta look for it. There's literally a code right there. So there's a key in a desk somewhere. Um Suspicious. Alright y'all, I found a safe in here. It was uh, I don't know why it took me so long. There's a safe, so here's the code. Five zero three eight. Five zero three eight 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 five zero three there we go. Dang. A medikit and get a key. Alright. Nice. I'll take that medikit any day. I bet he's a Tojo spy. Oh sh you're right. Come on, boys, let's take him down. Oh no. Alright, well, I'm not gonna fight them in this style, so hold on. 
Let me, let me get the, let me get the word. Let me get the word in real quick, so y'all think I'm this. Look at this big dude. I don't wanna, I really don't, oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What we, wanna, what we are gonna do, oh my, there's so much going on. Alright, what we are gonna do is, Ugh! Ha yep. Told it. We're gonna get to the big man first, cause, no, big man, yep. Yep, mess up your whole office. Mess up the, mm, mess up the, mm, mess up. Where he at? I wanna see him fold it. Where he at? Ah, the papers! Alright, give me this. You better get done up the worst way, sir. You better get done up the worst way. Ah! I slammed it so hard that John disappeared. That man is pronounced dead. Yes, sir. All y'all laid out. I did not lay them out like this. They were in worse conditions, but you know. The game helped me all out, I guess. All right. Uh, now I just gotta climb this fence. Hey. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Who are you? This dude. What are you doing? Who the f Oh. Oh, oh, hold it. Hey, uh, uh, uh. Oh. there's no, there's no freaking way. The balance is crazy. Uh. I just passed out. Who are you? Uh, am I fighting y'all? Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, y'all want to get up. Alright, let's go. Let's get it. I want all of it. I want all the smoke. Hold on, first off. First off. We always grabbing up a weapon. Hold on. I got somebody. Hey! Hey! Yeah, he's gone. Alright, let's run these hands. Nope. Yes, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Oh, body. Yeah. Ah! Collecting bodies. Let's get it. Let's get it. We're collecting. Oh, we behind punch. You did. Man, move, 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 move. Yep. Stay in the corner. Yep. All these we behind moves. Y'all put it up. Oh, body. Yep. Yep. You're next. This is Granddaddy suit. What is Granddaddy suit? Look. <laughs> Alright, hold on. You you next, y'all know. Y'all know whatever your name is in the air. Stay down. That's what we do. That's what we do. Stop playing. You just saw how bro just freaking did a whole backflip midair. Marasa yet? Let's find out. Hey. Who the f are you? Uh oh. Shh. I'm just here to talk, Marase san. Look, I risked my life to get in here. Just I don't have to do a sh You can't boss a yakuza around. We this fake behind. Oh! Oh, he's a boss. Oh yeah, we definitely ending the video after this. Look at how he got me slumped. All right, hold up. All right, I got something for you. Yeah, you don't want to do weapons. <laughs> yep, get tossed around like a rag doll. I am done with you. Yep. No. No. Oh. 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 No. No. Ah. 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 Oh. Ah. 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 Yeah. Yeah. We. Oh. No. Oh. Oh my. He got me folded. Hold on. Oh. 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 Right, hold on. Hold on. I got something for you. Ooh, hold on. Throw that chair up for him real quick. And we kick it in your face. Oh. Hold on, you got another one. Here's another one for ya. 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 Ooh. We, we. Oh, wow. I didn't even know he was about to do that. I was not ready for that. Ooh. Oh. He's about to get a katana. Oh no. So I really was gonna sit there and let him get a katana? I guess I am. 
mortal wounds. These when stab, shot, or hit with deadly your performance enemies uh when we're just gonna heal. Okay. X E I also said, also said X E, I mean E X, not X E. Okay, let me Alright, there we go. Oh, oh nope. Nope. Back up. Back up with that sword. Back up with that sword. Oh. Get no. Hit him with it. Oh, he's weaving me. Nope. Oh. Yep. Yeah, that sword ain't doing you too good, is it? Oh, I got something for you. Yep. E. Oh my, he's backing up. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even know what I have right now. Oh. Oh. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nope, weave. What is this, a golf court? Uh, that's not a golf court. A golf club? Oh! I don't even know what I did. Hold on. Let me go to... Okay, let me take this med kit real quick. I just remember it. Hold on. Ah! 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm hitting everything but him. Come on. A swing and a miss. And a swing and a miss. Yeah, he is weak. <laughs> Come on, yeah, yeah. I'm not done with you, yo. I'm not done with you. I'm not done with you. No, 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 no. He trying. Come on, let's go. Straight hands, straight hands. Come on, y'all, me. Oh my, this. Oh my. Come on, straight hands. We don't care about bro. Come on, straight hands. Oh my, look out, he's holding me. Come on, give me this lamp. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, you know. Oh, uh. All right, we just doing our straight hands because you didn't make you didn't make me mad. You didn't make me mad. You didn't make me mad. You didn't. You come on, he right there. Get, 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 step down. Fold it on your head tops. Fold it on his head tops. I mean, he got his, he, he had his way with me too, but it's whatever. That room was completely empty. What the hell are you after, huh? I already said, I just want to talk. Look at this. This is you running away after abandoning Kume. Who do you think you are? I'm a local detective. Hamura's lawyer is having me look into Kume's murder. So what? You're defending Hamura? You think I'm gonna tell you sh I thought we already negotiated. You wanna go again? You're not getting out of this unscathed, you know. I know your face now. Do you really think Hamura killed Kume? Of course I do. Who else could have done it? That's what I'm trying to find out. I need to know what happened that night. <sighs> it's as clear as day. Hamura gouged Kume's eyes out. End of story. Yeah? Where? How? In the dump behind a moor. Bastard tortured Kume to death. Actually, the murder happened somewhere else. And I have the evidence to prove it. Wait, what? What you mean we have the we had the footage? I mean, what you mean? What are we the autopsy report? Take a look at this. I guess. What the? That's Kume. That's right. There's a hint in this picture. Move out there. I know you're not about to have me search up the in like the exact place. Suspicious. Oh my. Oh, I didn't even know I could do this. No sign of blood on the ground. That's it. Yep, I knew it was that. I knew it was that. Sorry. I'm sure this is tough to look at. But as you can see, there's almost no blood around his body. That means he was killed somewhere else then transported to the alleyway. Oh, I guess so, huh? Mm, doesn't add up, does it? So, you ready to talk now? <sighs> Finally can get to the okay, main topic. Okay, let's take it from the top. Now, after you ran away from Amor, where exactly did you go? You couldn't just let them take Kume, could you? 
Yeah, I had to do something. So, I went to round up the rest of the clan. We had to take Kume back. But nobody would help, would they? You kidding? Of course they helped. We burst in there ready to bust heads. But I thought nobody else went in or out of a moor. What? You mean because the camera didn't see anyone? <laughs> Funny thing, that. Turns out you can't get seen if the camera's broken. The back alley was our ticket in. So you really went inside? Yep. Not a soul in the house, though. Trust me, we searched the whole joint. And when was that? Just after midnight, I suppose. Right when the prosecution says Hamura was laying into Kume. If you're telling the truth, that's a clear contradiction. Huh. Who gives a what the prosecution says? Hamura killed Kume, and that's that. Ain't no other way. Maybe so, but the police still need to hear your story. If you could just testify to that... You gotta be kidding me. Why the f*** did I do that, huh? Mm, yeah, nothing you can do about yeah, that. That was worth a try. I mean, it's not testifying. I don't know what he thought he was. <laughs> Nice work. So Murase busts into a moor. And who does he find? Absolutely nobody. Yep. Captain Hamura said he kicked Kume out and hit the sauna right around midnight. The stories match up. You really think he's innocent? Not sure. Our next step is finding proof he was at that sauna. Guess that's that. Well, I'm pooped. How about we call it here for tonight? Yeah, good call. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow, Kaito-san. Um, right along with them. Rest up? Uh, sure. We finna rest up very easy. I'm finna rest up as well. Alright, y'all. That is going to be, um, this episode of Judgment. Appreciate y'all watching. Um, definitely next time I'll try to have way more energy. But, uh, yeah. Uh, if you guys are enjoying this series, uh, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, even consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.